welcome back to the Mekong Flood Hand Drop Forecast Channel. This is Jay from the Mekong River Commission. Let's start with the rainfall update today. Over the past 24 hours, some areas in central part of Laos, which share border with the northeast part of Thailand and the central highlands of Vietnam, have experienced moderate to heavy rainfall, ranging from 20 to 70 millimeters. This week, Significant rainfall is forecasted in many areas in the lower Mekong Basin, with a total expected rainfall higher than the past two weeks. From 29 to 30 August, heavy rain will concentrate in several areas in the northern part of Laos, while from 31st August to 2nd September, it will concentrate in several areas of the central part of Laos, the northeast of Thailand, the three S areas, and the northeast and southwest of Cambodia. In the next seven days, the three areas of Se Gong, Se San, and Sri Pok rivers is expected to receive the highest amount of rainfall in the lower Mekong Basin, with a total expected rainfall from 200 to 370 millimeters. The remaining areas are expected to have light or moderate rainfall, with a total accumulation of less than 200 millimeters. Now, let's move to the update on the flood situation in the Mekong River. The water level at Ban Tha Kuk Dang Station on Song Kram River is still above the alarm level, which is below the flood level by about 0.6 meters. Over the next five days, water levels at most stations are expected to decrease slightly from 0.1 to 0.4 meters. There will be a slight increase in water level from 0.2 to 0.3 meters at Chiang San Station and the station from Pak San to Ta Kang. It is important to note that the water level at 22 stations along the mainstream are within the normal range and the overall flood risk of all these stations remains low. It is necessary to keep an eye on the possibility of flash floods and flooding in the areas forecasted to receive heavy rainfall and isolated thunderstorm next week. These areas are in northern and central part of Laos, the northeast of Thailand, the three S areas, as well as the northeast and the southwest of Cambodia. The information provided here is meant for easy communication for the public. For more technical details, please check our websites and reports. This concludes our forecast today. Remember to tune in every Monday to get the latest update on rainfall, water level, flood, and drought of the Mekong River. Goodbye for now. See you again.